have in front of me an electric strike lock uh, kit. So it's 12 volt single door and it includes the keypad. So um, we have a whole series of sort of mag lock systems in our things. This one here is along those lines, except uh, it's just a, the locking mechanism here. So uh, what it means is when we press the button here or enter the keypad thing, it just opens so you can actually come along. This is a release and the door can open itself, okay? So let's just look at exactly what we're doing. We'll start off with the power unit, so it's probably the, the, the largest piece of kit in it. So uh, there's just a screw on top here, just unscrew it here. Just so open it up, and we'll see in here. So we just have the mains power goes in directly into it. And what we have here is we have uh, an ability to add a battery, I'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, we have a tamper switch here, which means that um, if you have this wired up to alarm, it's going to to cover off to disable it. Uh, alarm will go off and then we have the outputs here so this is actually what will be driving over to the keypad and then controlling the lock itself so just put that out of the way for a moment um, what we have here then is uh, if you want to exit from the inside you just be rather than entering a code of course you'll just be pressing this or in an emergency situation you'll have a brake glass here and this will send a signal over to leave the door permanently open okay so there's little, two little keys come with this so you can just press this thing here to reset it, so it works quite well. <clears throat> On the outside what you'll have is you'll have the actual keypad itself, and it's two possible mounts. Uh, one for mounting directly onto a wall, and one for going onto a box that's in the wall, okay? So you can either way, so you use one or the other, but not both, okay, when mounting it. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. And this here is really the intelligence of the operation. So. Um, there's a wiring diagram that comes with this and things like that, but it's pretty straightforward what you're trying to do. You're taking in the power from the thing and then you're feeding out to the particular uh, unit, in this case the lock that you want to be controlling. You enter a pad and it'll normally give a certain time delay that um, it'll be set to give a certain time delay that the lock will be disabled uh, once the code has been entered and then it reactivates automatically by itself. And then with the locking mechanism here, so just this is what goes onto it. And um, it just locks directly across um, so that's just the, the, um, that's just like a standard lock fitting when you're, the way you be putting that in. Um, so the uh, possible add-ons we'd have with that is um, the, the only real uh, additional thing. Uh, on the traditional mag locks, we generally save batteries. Most people don't, don't go with them because the door is sort of left in an open position. But my understanding of this is that this will actually be in a locked position if the power goes off. So you may want to go with a battery on it. So we have this as an associated product. And you just add this in, connects it in. And this is a rechargeable battery if you do decide to go with it. Now it's not part of the kit, but it's an option to add it on. And it just means that if the power goes off, you can continue to operate the door, keep it locked open, all the rest of it. And as well as that, um, uh, what do you call it? When the power comes back up, it'll be fully recharged directly off the power unit itself. So that's it anyway, an overview of the electric strike lock kit uh, available directly with free delivery from freetv.ie.